are in the car this morning because we are heading off to McDonald's. <laughs> you can't really tell from here how bad it's going to be. Okay, so it's 12.38 now, so we'll see how long it takes us. There is a little bit of a queue. Why don't we just sit down and do like a chatty mukbang McDonald's Q&A? Yeah, let's McDonald's. just have a little bit of a McDonald's moment. <laughs> Oh, see, I'm like crying that. now, just thinking about it. I know, you're so beautiful. I just want to birth a child. <laughs> Hello hey guys, guys and welcome back to our channel. It feels so long since we started a vlog, a vlog in the in car. We used to always start them in cars because we'd always be going off doing things. This was literally our 90% of the time yeah. we would start a vlog in a car. Yeah. yeah, we miss it. Welcome back to our channel. We are in the car this morning because we are heading off to McDonald's. <laughs> I cannot believe this is happening, but every time, so McDonald's yeah. opened, like, it, today's not the first day it opened. Or something. Yeah. About a week ago. About a week ago. But There's literally been there. police, the queues, and every time we've driven yeah. past it, we've been like, absolutely no way. The last couple of times it's been okay, to be fair, which is why I think we're gonna, we're gonna chance it today and see what it's like. Okay. I I've can't. Been, I've been fancying one for a little while. We have. Oh, look, yeah. there it is. Is that okay? So there's no like police or huge queue going on, but you can't really tell from here how bad it's going to no, be. But it McDonald's. Was like, it was covering this junction at one point. Yeah, like last time we came, it was literally all the way yeah. down here, or like yeah. a little while ago when we came. So we're very hopeful to be having McDonald's for the first time in months and months. Yes. We are avid not, McDonald's eaters. We are. I'm not kind of like. No, I'm we're just lazy. Like, I'm looking forward to it, but I'm not like, oh my goodness. I know. I missed it less than I thought yeah, I would. Same. Like, I'm kind of only doing it because I'm interested. Yeah, I'm Does like. That make sense. I'm not like I particularly want McDonald's food. I just kind of happy to get out the house and sit in the queue. <laughs> Literally, that's what we spend our days. That's what we're happy to do now with our oh, lockdown days. We um, go on a dog walk and then like queue to go into the shops. <laughs> I can't remember how it tastes though. I know. It's like McDonald's chips, I'm obsessed with, and I can't remember how they taste. So I'm gonna be very intrigued to see if I still love it. And we hope that you guys before. all stay well during lockdown and maybe experiencing, you know, yes. some, a little bit of normality coming back to us. It's slowly life. coming back. Bit. Okay, so it's 12:38 now. We're gonna see so we'll see how long it takes us. There is a little bit of a queue. But it's nothing compared to what it used to be. Though. No, nothing it used compared. To be at least double, if not triple, this. It was ridiculous, wasn't it? Also, guys, do you like my starry nails? Yeah, James, I did you know just I put my starry nails on? Um, kind of, but I didn't say anything. I don't Aww. know why. I kind of did notice. You just, you weren't, you know, in love. I don't like staring at your hands too much lately. I'm not. Yeah. And he's not appreciating that. Oh, great! We've got blooming low battery already oh my on this camera. No, well, we could be here for hours. <laughs> We're the worst bloggers ever, I swear. Okay, so 12.57, we've just picked up the McDonald's. I, I can't do the maths, I can't work out 37. Oh my God, why can't I work out? It's 38 to 57. It's one minute less than um, 20, isn't it? No, 30, 40, 50, yeah. So it's 19 minutes. What, is that it? Yeah. It was only 19 minutes, wow. Yeah. That was really no, not. We could have cooked up an actual dinner at home in that time. Yeah, that's true, still. <laughs> The queue looked really long, but it actually was yeah. fine. They accidentally got a bit of our order wrong, so they came as meals. So that's why we actually have yeah, so we much now food. Have more stuff than we were meant to. <laughs> you know, I'm not gonna complain. We can't complain. Okay, guys. So we're back. We originally started this vlog as a like. Sorry, I'm just gonna start chill vlog. Time. Yeah, go for it. Bill. Yeah. Oh my god, look how many chips there are. I oh know. So they did mess up our order. But yeah. luckily they messed it up in a way of we have too much stuff. So I'm not going to complain. Can't complain. We did, we did pay for it as well. You know, oh, it's yeah. not, that, not that we've taken someone else's order. I kind of just cut the contactless payment without really realising how much it was. Didn't and it turns out we ordered way too much. Yeah, because that did just come through on yeah. my phone. It was something like £24, which obviously would have been way too much for... It was like 29 I can't remember though. <laughs> I didn't really, I just kind of was like, yeah. She was like the two much chicken sandwich meals. Just give like, me the yeah, McDonald's. That's me. <laughs> anyway. I also ordered veggie dippers. I'm really excited to try them. Anyway, what I was going to say was we were doing a just chill vlog. Mm -hmm. Then we joined the kids at McDonald's and we thought, why don't we just sit down and do like a chatty mukbang McDonald's Q&A. We have not done a mukbang mm -hmm. in so long. Wow, there's a lot of chicken sandwiches. Please there. excuse me. I'm going to eat this so fiercely because it is currently 1pm. We have been on a over an hour long dog walk this morning and I haven't eaten a single thing yet today. Wow. I know. I'm yeah, let's just have a little bit of a McDonald's moment. <laughs> the only McFans we've ever done, like, I've been like savagely yeah. commented on, haven't I, for being like, what was it? Chewing with my mouth open. Oh, talking. I'm doing mm. it now, probably. I'm like, well, I'm talking. You've probably got a nice bit of mayo on your mm. side. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I just can't not talk. I'm just going to do this instead. I, I struggle with McFans because. Yeah. I hate talking with my mouth full, you know, at a normal dinner time, and so I struggle even further when we start recording it, and I'm like. <laughs> 
I'll get to that. So like, it's never really that flowy. I always find mukbangs a bit like, quickly mm. start, stop, start, stop. You can't. <laughs> Literally. Okay, mm. I'm gonna try one of these veggie dippers and see. Ooh. Ooh. I think I've tried them before when we did our day really? being vegetarian. Mmm. <laughs> oh my gosh, they smell so good. James, I actually think you'd really like that. Mm. It like it's very different from it's McDonald's, quite good, isn't it? Actually. It's a bit like curry esque. Yeah, it is. It? It's got curry flavours in it, I think. Mm. It's actually really good though. It's like something you'd get as a side when you have a, a, yes. a, a curry or something. Yeah, it is, isn't it? <laughs> mm. Mm. I would eat those. I know. I know mm. you well, Boo. I knew you would. So I thought we would um Look how bad they are. They're a couple small, of days ago. Nuggets. Yeah, they must be like made four. with so, six chicken nuggets, 260 cows, 13 grams of fat, mm. 320 cows for four, 13 grams of fat. Oh. It's not a million miles difference. Probably like... More sugar in the veggies. Better food. Yeah, like know. that actually probably has more nutrients. Maybe. Even though that's lower mm. calories. Yeah. Because it's got like veg in it, I think. Interesting. Yeah, I asked, we filmed a video, which, a couple of days ago, which was asking me juicy questions or something like that. Mm -hmm. So I can go into, I'm gonna go into my archive, oh, I did it earlier, and screenshotted some um, that we didn't answer Because a couple of video. people um, got a little bit confused with what we were asking for, and were asking questions to me, yeah. or were asking questions to us, just thinking it's like more of a normal Q&A. Mm. So we got quite a few like interesting ones. I haven't actually looked at them, you said mm. they're interesting. What is your long life dream slash goal as individuals or as a couple? I thought that was interesting, because I don't think we have a particular one that would spring to mind. I know as, as a kid, I very much wanted to, you know, be the CEO of a company. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you are a CEO of a yeah. company! Yeah! <laughs> we got our own company! Because we're self-employed! <laughs> Am I the CEO? Because I know we're both company directors, but can I call myself the Am CEO? I'm the CEO. You can be the CFO. Actually, I'll be the CFO. I'm happy being the CFO, so CFO is Chief Financial Officer. I don't even know. I'm okay I'm being like, the CFO. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you can be the Chief Executive Officer. Okay. Yeah? Who's more important? Usually the CEO, but just. Yeah. So it depends what kind of business it is, but basically okay. I'm the CEO. Yeah, so, yeah, that's a good one for you. I definitely feel like you were like that. I don't really know what my dream was. I, I wanted to be about a billion different things, but my dream now, and I think our joint dream, mm -hmm. is we always talk about this channel. We love it with all our hearts, and we just want it to be as, as successful as it can be. Um, mm -hmm. Just keep enjoying it. My literal goal in life is to have a job forever that I love as much as I love this job now. And honestly, I know it's probably not really where the question, what the question meant, but my goal is to have just a big family with you, obviously. Mm. Well, I think that is where the question was. I don't think they were talking yeah. um, about just work. I think the question is kind of what, yeah, well, how do you want your life to play out? And I agree. I think we've always talked about we want this channel just to hopefully keep growing a little bit. Like, it doesn't need to be yeah. huge, but if we could grow a little bit more, because we still make the majority of our money off Karis' channel and Karis' Instagram. Mm -hmm. um, so if this could grow a little bit more, mm. so that we could like focus even more on this channel. Yeah. And we, we always said we just wanted to be able to kind of vlog our life. You know, it's such, such a luxury, privileged thing to be able to do, just it to is be able really. to vlog our life um, for content on YouTube. Uh, that would be that's amazing. Incredible. And then we just enjoy this channel so much. Mm. Yeah. That's our dream. That is our dream. Living the dream. Are you scared James will change when you have children? I thought that was quite an interesting one, because I was like, well, you know, I've never thought about that. But you will change, and I will change, and everything will change. Mm. If we're lucky enough to have children. We always say that, and make that clear. I think the main thing um, is that you kind of, you have less time to be, you know, to show affection and attention to your partner. Because you're, you're sent, I know, and I just think you will struggle with that. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll be busy, I won't notice. Maybe, I'm not sure. You'll mm. be too tired to notice at the start. <laughs> it is interesting though, isn't it? Like, I will become... To you now, mm. I'm like, you're everything, mm. and you're my everything. When you have kids, obviously you still love each other so yeah. much, but you've got if these little more. humans that... But also you kind of expect it. So like if, you know, you, you expect the person to kind of look after the kids. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. You understand That's it. That's what you want. Yeah. Mm. It's like Mila. Like Mila only made us stronger. Mm. And we still have someone in our life now that we love <laughs> just as much as each there other. There we go. Carlos is comparing Mila to a future kids again. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> No, I'm not. I'm just saying. It is like kind of having that joint yeah, responsibility yeah. and that joint thing. And we did change in, in terms of we became more responsible. Yeah, kids are far more emotionally and physically difficult though. I wonder how much we'll change though. Like we're quite silly. We won't have as many like random silly times together. Yes. You know when we're in the evenings when we're like... Yeah. <laughs> we'll obviously... 
Not on camera, Karish. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's so weird. You'll do less of that, I think, because... Mm. No, hopefully we won't, you I know. I don't think so. I think we'd probably be so sleep deprived, we'd probably end up doing more. Me! <laughs> <laughs> our baby's gonna grow up just as weird as us, I think. Mm. Our baby? Our child? Or whatever. Do you have a... I thought this was actually funny, because the question is, to James, do you have a secret that you haven't told Karis? And I just thought it was really funny because any time we try and keep like a minor secret from each other, it's literally something oh, so yeah, unimportant, like... um, especially James. Yeah. Um, I'm, he... I'm so bad. Like, I always say to Kaz, like, you will know if I cheat on you or do anything bad because I, I just can't keep anything from Kaz. I do something that I think is slightly cheeky, like eat the last piece of cake. <laughs> And I'm like, maybe she won't notice, maybe she won't notice. And then literally 10 minutes later, I'm like, Carlos, I've got to confess, I ate the last piece of cake. <laughs> he'll literally be like, I've got to tell you something, right? It's a bit naughty. And then he'll tell me and I'm like, okay. And he's like, I just couldn't keep it a secret anymore. <laughs> and he gets all nervous and giggly and it's really cute. So, I think the answer to that was no. I don't think there is a secret you haven't told me. Oh, there might be. Mm. But it's still a secret though. Some you just can keep. <laughs> the serious ones are deep down inside. They're so embedded. <laughs> exactly. I, I, I don't even think it's a secret anymore. Oof, it's just dissolved into who you are. Do you ever wish you married later? No. No. I don't. Mm -hmm. I'm really happy that we married. I always think this because it was such a surprise to me mm -hmm. when you proposed. But now, I can't... Imagine if we hadn't have done all that mm -hmm. already. Mm -hmm. Maybe I wouldn't be thinking about kids and stuff now. Yeah. But I feel like I couldn't wait any longer. Like I couldn't be wanting kids now and be like, oh, but we're going to get married because we wanted to get married before having kids. We always wanted to get married and then kind of have kids once we were married rather than the other way around. Not really for any religious reasons. We're not no. really religious at all. No. We're not religious. We're not religious at all. <laughs> not at all. But we just, we knew we wanted to do that. So we didn't yeah. want it to... So sort of. now I think back, I'm like, well, thank goodness you did because it's worked out perfectly. Well, that's what I thought. I thought we didn't want to get to a point where we, our life was on hold because mm. we weren't married. You always say that. And I thought, let's get engaged. And then we spend a couple of years kind of getting ready for the wedding. Obviously, it was within a year. Not within a year, just over a year. So it was quicker than kind of I thought when we were going to get engaged. Yeah. But like, I just, that's my own, that was literally like, we were lucky enough to have the money mm -hmm. to be able to have a wedding. You know, we already owned our own house. Mm. So it just didn't make, I don't know, to me personally, it didn't make sense to wait, that's all. Yeah, I think it worked out perfectly. Mm. And I honestly would not have wanted to get married no, any later. and it hasn't changed, in my opinion, it hasn't changed what we're doing with our life or our lifestyle at all. Mm -hmm. Has it? No, it's just... No, not at all. Because like you said, we were lucky enough we to were be able still to living afford together, yeah. A wedding and everything like that. What was I going to add to that? Can't remember. Moving on. <laughs> oh, so someone said, do the TikTok trend where you ask James what he thinks, wrap my head around this, your biggest insecurity is. So you need to guess, I thought we'd do it for each other. So yeah. you've got to guess what, or you've got to say what my biggest insecurity is, and I've got to say what your biggest insecurity is. And I think the point is you're meant to be like, your nose, and then I'm meant to be like, oh, right. you think that is, I should I think be physically your biggest insecurity is your hair. I think it used to be your nose, but I now think it's your hair. Wow, nailed it. Um, and I, th but I think you have lots of social insecurities. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, and I think your biggest social insecurity is to make someone else mm. like is to say the wrong thing. I think that's your big social. I think if you make someone else say the wrong thing. No, no. Sorry, I was just gonna say make someone else feel uncomfortable. Oh. But mm -hmm. I guess your social is that you're gonna say you said the wrong thing, and then you start you massively overthink if they now hate you, or if they're gonna go home and cry, even though like you're the yeah. nicest person ever. Yeah. And you never say the wrong thing. Oh, I do. Does that make sense? So I think you have massive social, but then just physical is your hair. I think you nailed that on the head, Bill. Thank you. I would 100% say it used to be my nose. Uh huh. Um, but now I love my nose. I wanted a nose job, which is really sad when I think back to it now, when I was younger. Mm -hmm. um, and then I love my nose now. And um, my hair, yeah, my hair is still definitely my business security. If you did see, there's a couple of DMs, people thought I had my hair extensions put back in. It's just a clip in bobble, if you ever see me with my yeah. long flowing we extensions. We talked about this in the last few yeah. uh. That's just my little clip in bobble. But my hair is really super thin. Mm -hmm. um, so it's definitely my biggest insecurity. 
Yeah, I didn't even think about the social ones. That's a really good point. Mm. Um, I definitely have that type of anxiety where I overthink it and then I'm like, oh my gosh, did she take that the wrong way? Did she hate me? Or, mm. oh my goodness, no. And I just, I really just always want to make people like, feel comfortable. And glance at someone because she likes their dress and then they'll like catch her eye and she'll think, she'll then overthink for the rest of the day about how that person probably thinks she was staring at her I hate it. in like a horrible way, you know, mm. giving her the evil eye or, I don't mm. know. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Not good. No. <laughs> a lot of people have that anxiety like that, though. So if you do have it, then... Do you want to guess mine? I'm with you. Oh, God, I didn't even do yours. Oh, goodness. Oh, golly. Um... Ew, what's yours? Oh, you know what? James doesn't have any. He's so confident. Oh, my God, I actually... I'm actually not sure. I would say you're... Hmm. Physical one is a weird one, because... I don't I am feel the type like... of person that I wouldn't... You don't changing. bother thinking of anything. Like you don't. I, this James is kind of the never... body I'm born with, so this is just what I work with. <laughs> I, sorry, that needs to be on a t-shirt. This is what I'm born with. This is what I'm working with. Because James has never openly, not openly, has never verbally said, "Oh, I hate my hair. Oh, my hair looks so bad. Oh, and I'm, you know, oh, what I'm like. I think every my day. hair looks bad, but then I get a cut. In terms of like, yeah, but you're just like, um, oh, it kind of looks a bit frizzy. People say my nose is ugly. So I think the biggest comments I get is that I, is that I have a piggy nose. So like when we get trolls and stuff, is that I have a piggy nose, but oh I don't Oh my god, mind. I love your piggy nose. I love everything about you though. Oink, oink, oink. <laughs> no, stop it, yeah. on camera. Um. <laughs> and I do have a little bit of a piggy nose, but I still wouldn't change it. <laughs> I love your piggy nose. Don't care. No, also, James is very much about like, a human is from the inside out. <laughs> What? You are though. You what always you tell me that. You're like, seriously, because I'm sat there like, some days I get really frustrated with how I look and if we're vlogging and I get really upset and I'm like, I just don't want to vlog. Like, I just look so horrible. I look so like, ugly. Like, no one follows us because of how you look. And he's like, seriously, you actually value yourself. Pure, you think people are literally watching your videos just because of how you look. Firstly, that's really stupid because I look like this all the time and I never dress up. So why would they even do that? But secondly, mm. what? You've got so much more to you than how you look on the outside. So anyway. I still can't think of one for you. I would probably say your body, because you you're quite hard on yourself in that like you always want to yeah. be better physically, but you don't really like. But then I guess that's something you can change. Oh. Like that's like a long term change if you wanted to. So I guess you could be insecure about it. But then I don't know. Yeah, potentially my body, but that is something that I work on. So I guess that does make more sense. Not that I'm working. And on then it. what about your personality? I can't think of one either. What do you feel most insecure about in life? I don't know. Maybe like... I don't really care about much. <laughs> I could literally write you a list. I feel insecure about laddie behaviour, but like that's not really a thing, is it? Like I feel anxious mm. if I'm going into social situations with big groups of men. You get riled up easily. Not riled, yeah. Not riled up, like... Um, I get intimidated quite yeah. easily, and then I go on the defensive. Mm. So I get intimidated, and then I become a bit of a not very nice person, because I go on the defensive. Not that bad, but just not like... Not that bad, but just a bit sassy. More, a bit sassy, yeah. Yeah, so, I get yeah, you. I think that's... But that's not really an insecurity. Oh I guess God, it is, I actually can't I don't really feel... Think feel when... I have an insecurity that I'm not kind of... Yeah. Laddy enough that I'm not kind of like, all right, boys, oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, that brings out... play some rugby, isn't it? That brings out your insecurity yeah. of, like, yeah, you don't, you feel like you, you might get picked on or, I don't know, something like that. <laughs> okay, so James has none. <laughs> when are you going to do merch is one of the questions we got, and I've had a couple of DMs on that as well. Mm. Soon, hopefully, this was a sample. A lot of changes being made to this, but yeah, I'm absolutely obsessed. Well, potentially not an next release, but we're not sure we are. Oh yeah, we've been planning loads of stuff mm. for future releases, future, future, future. But it's got the little Y-A-E at the bottom, because our merch is always Y-A-E and always has been, and that stands for You Are Enough. Um, and we love just having that little merch range on the side. Most attractive part of the body? Pick one for me and I'll pick one for you. Oh, the most attractive part of your body? Yeah. Or just the body? Oh. Oh yeah, let's do the body. So, if you went with I don't me like now, doing things like this. I know it was horrible. Because obviously, well, I'm going to do mine because I feel like it doesn't always have to be sexual. So mine's um, a smile. Oh, I'm God, really just like taking. Oh such my a God! One. No, yeah, but it's true though. I know, James, it is true. James's teeth are so big, 
and every time he laughs my heart flutters even after being with him for six years like honestly when I see James laughing especially if it's like I try not to laugh now <laughs> even if it's across the well mostly if it's like across the room at a party or something or with other people I just can't I just my usually because I'm laughing with other girls and you're like <laughs> I can't I just can't be here <laughs> I need to leave James, we're going now. It's because your smile is so beautiful and I want to get you back to bed. <laughs> That's exactly it, isn't it? <laughs> no! Yeah. <laughs> no, not at all. That would be me in the past. Yeah, your smile. And only one smile. I'm a very like... What's the mayo doing? What's the mayo doing in the corner of my mouth? The same side. <laughs> It's like I'm dribbling mayo out the corner of my mouth. Yeah, so the other one other person I really quite fancy is... Is it James or Dave Franco? <laughs> Dave. Is it? Yep. It's the bad actor. Not even the good one. <laughs> Rude! <laughs> He's got a really cool smile. And it's not like the straight... It's, it's not like... It's not that like I love a smile where straight teeth and blah, blah, blah. I don't like a perfect smile. I like a it unique smile. It also helps smile. that he's very attractive in other senses. Yeah. It's not just the smile. So are you. You little piggy <laughs> nose. You little piggy nose. <laughs> My <laughs> most attra- I'm most attracted to hair. So... <laughs> <laughs> Forget it! I just like nice, big, thick, no! long hair. <laughs> Thank you. And you nearly caught me. I did, didn't I? You're... <laughs> I was like, does it? I don't know. <clears throat> what about eyes? I like you're eyes. quite you notice quite a lot of eyes. I do notice eyes. Because you're like, oh green eyes, blue eyes. Yeah, let's just go for eyes for you. You take too long. <laughs> this is a question for me. Why do I love craft so much? <laughs> You've never used to like craft, and then it kind of got into lockdown, and you just went a bit mad with the craft. Do you want I've always been crafty. Oh, do you want No, 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 you have it. I've eaten the quarter pounder and the milk chicken sandwich. Okay, good. This is my second one. I've always been a crafty person, and like a creative person, but I think I do have obsessions, and I know I've talked about this before, but I've got very obsessive personality, so if I, I'll have, say, like half a year to a year of being obsessed mm-hmm. with something and then move on, but um, in the old house... I'll be out soon. <laughs> no, six years, gone. and I'm still just getting more obsessed every day. Uh-huh. Uh, uh. Um, in the I've always been obsessed with DIY and craft, basically. But I think my like canvas craft is very specific, and I do wonder if it will go in the future. But it's been going for quite a while now, and I still love it. Go for what, two months. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> and we're not out of lockdown yet. I always say this mm. that potentially once we're out of lockdown and we can start going out and we can start seeing more of our friends and we can start you know going to the cinema and you know going shopping and stuff. Mm. I think you will have less time in the day and you will potentially... But then you like doing it in front of the TV I do it in front of the TV, that's only when I do it now. I know. I think I'll always do it now. I love it. And it makes really nice presents for people and stuff. Mm. I think the reason I like it as well is it... It takes my focus off my overthinking anxiety head. So you're focusing on your needle movement. You can't really think about much else, so... Mm. And then Carlos goes... What happened in the last episode of that (laughs) TV show? (laughs) That's not true. I was just doing the waves. <laughs> My beachy craft. <laughs> um, then the next one went on to, will you give up crafting if James asks you wow, to? Wow, that is intense. I thought that was a deep question. That had, like, deep Why meaning. Why would I ask you to give up crafting? You tell me, Bill. Are they trying to say that Would I'm you ask me? Yeah, they What's are. What's going on here? Oh, yeah, there's two deeper Why meanings. Why would I ask you to give up crafting? I guess... To be fair, the lounge is a state. <laughs> Like, there's just, like, odd pieces of string everywhere, needles kind of in the sofa, you know, prick your bum when you sit down, <laughs> cameras are scattered true. around. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> mm. I, I would never, but would you? Like, why I don't... Would, I, would you? If I asked, would you, if I was like, oh, so, boo, it's getting a bit messy, Karis, would you? Boo. Oh, like you call me boo. <laughs> um, I think I would, because I'd be really confused as to why you'd ask me to. <laughs> I'd be like, are you okay? Are you ill? No. <laughs> If we're both, if we're getting obsessed with something, we do sit each other down and we're like, maybe, because there was a point where I was there waking was up, point. doing craft, didn't want to do anything else, it, just it, wanted it to do it. your work, you kind of, because I think the issue was, Karis is a very productive person and she always has to be working or doing kind of something that feels like work, something that's mm. practical. And I think the issue was, you went through a stint of not particularly enjoying doing, you know, your editing and mm-hmm. stuff like that for work. 
and so you would wake up and you would prioritize doing your craft but yeah. you'd feel good because it feels so productive yeah, that's so right. you don't feel lazy you feel yeah like you're doing something and then you kind of never would work exactly so then we will sit each other down yeah we'll and we did a bit obsessive. and we had a talk because i get it. obsessed over other things james researched cars i research cars a lot for hours i enjoy and hours re the research and again we'll cars. sit each other down and just say how it's fine to be obsessed with things. It's fine to have obsessions, but it's good to like set time aside or treat yourself yeah. to it or just make sure you're always doing things in a healthy way and a way that doesn't affect yours or others personal life motivation and happiness and just life in general. So yeah, if James, if I was doing something and you asked me not to do it, we would sit down and have a chat about it. But mm. I think you would never ask me not to no, do something that crafting. could be done at a healthy no, level. Look how many more walls we have. That's still a not fold with Karis' craft, okay? There's many Just years wait. to go. Is this plain white? I could put a lot of craft on here. <laughs> <laughs> I like this one. Is James practical in the bedroom? Question mark, 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 Or does he let his hair down? Oh. I thought this was really fun because actually, you do let your hair down. Okay. I was thought, what was practical in the bedroom? I'm not sure what practical in the bedroom even means. But then, I Is thought, that like efficient? Like, you just stay there now, we'll yeah. get this done in under five minutes. <laughs> Stop it, oh my god, that's awful. That's what I thought though, and I thought, yeah, practical would technically be like, very un, sort of emotional, very like, you know, go with your head, not your heart. <laughs> but I feel like when you get into the bedroom, you're very much like a hearty, emotional, sensitive. We put the music on. Yeah, like, uh, he definitely lets his yeah. hair down. It's not, definitely not, you know, the normal to practical My James. head doesn't really go down, it's quite fizzy. <laughs> it um, stays up. But if it, if it could be let down, it would be let down. <laughs> it definitely would be let down. I think this is the last one. Are you worried about giving birth one day? I thought that was a cool one, because if we are lucky enough to have children, which we would love to, as you guys know, we talk about it every freaking day. Um, I am not worried at all about giving birth, and you know what, that could change as soon as I fall pregnant, or that could change... As soon as you kind of have to. The day before, huh? As soon as you kind of have to give birth. Yeah, that might change, mm -hmm. and, and you, sometimes you just don't know how you're going to feel about something until it comes re becomes a reality. But uh, my answer right now would be, I'm so excited to give birth. I am so intrigued by pregnancy and giving birth, I am so fascinated by it, I am so... I'm not someone who's particularly scared of pain. Um, but James, on the other hand, I am terrified <laughs> about Karis giving birth. Terrified. Like, I don't know how she's kind of. Every time we talk about it, I'm like, I'm quite nervous, Karis. Like, I, I don't really want to see you in that much discomfort during pregnancy and then that much pain during. I was like, if it was me, I don't know if all guys feel this way, but like, I know like having a baby is like so beautiful and unique. But me right now, I feel like I'd be putting this off because I don't feel like I'm in a place to go through the trauma of giving birth. And I'm not trying to like, childbirth is such a beautiful thing and some people, you know, deal with it better than others. But on the whole, I know it's extremely painful. And not and some people deal with it better, but also everyone is so different. Mm. So someone might have quite, not an easy birth, but quite a, you A know, short labor and then kind sure. of quite a quick push. Someone might have one that's really traumatic. Yeah. So I think it's not even just that, it's going into it not knowing what type mm -hmm. of birth you're gonna have, mm -hmm. but. But like, it, it would terrify me just the, simply the pain at the end of pregnancy would terrify me, followed by the fact that, you know, you're good, the majority of the nine months you're in some sort of discomfort, whether you're being sick or mm. whether you're mm. carrying around a very heavy weight <laughs> in your stomach. So I'm not sure, like, yes, I, and I don't know whether that I should feel bad about that in terms of I, I would love to start a family soonish, mm. but then I feel like if I was the woman, I don't know if I would be ready to start the really? family. And I don't know whether that, whether I should feel, mm. like does that mean that I'm not quite there? But like, to when do you kids? think, so I don't think I'd ever want to give birth, so I don't know if I'd ever be there. When do you think you'd be ready to do that? I know. Like that's not something that you're gonna sort of grow into. I am a bit of a wuss when it comes to, <laughs> so like I, I, I played rugby, you know, all my life until, up to the age of about 19. Yeah. And on like a rugby pitch, I would deal amazingly well with pain. Yeah. Like, you know, you'd end up with Adrenaline. broken bones and torn muscles yeah. and you'd be, I'd be fine. But going into something with no adrenaline, knowing that it's going to be painful, I'm useless. Oh, useless. You'd have adrenaline. Yeah. Like in birth. <laughs> You'd have a lot like of adrenaline. Have adrenaline. Yeah. Hell of a lot of adrenaline. And you know it's going to be painful. Like when you go on a rugby pitch, you don't necessarily know what bits are going to be painful. <laughs> when you go on a rugby pitch, you could have all that pain. And, and also the pain just is nothing compared to giving birth. <laughs> yeah, but 
You've got a miracle at the end of it. I know. How exciting. I know. You'd be I so much think... more excited when it comes to it yeah. than you would be focusing on the pain. Just out of interest. Yeah. I'm getting very deep here. If it was the case that either sex, you know, male or female, could give birth. Yeah. And it was like just a choice. Yeah. I'd want to give birth. You would want to give yeah, birth. I would. I want to give birth. <sighs> I want to birth my children if I can. But do you think like there's some sort of like female responsibility coming in there, or do you? <laughs> See, I'm just like think crying that... now, just thinking about. I know you're so beautiful. <laughs> I just want to birth a child. <laughs> I love it. I really love the thought of it, and I just think it's so magical. So yeah, I don't think you should ever feel like guilty or anything because even if we had a choice, I'd want it. Me. <laughs> Me, 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 but the child. <laughs> me, me, okay. me, carry it. I'm happy to take more responsibility after the child. <laughs> and I always say this from a guy. Yeah, when's it's born, you can have it. I always wonder if, because, I don't know, because the woman is the one who kind of goes through the pregnancy and the one who gives birth, I always wonder if then after the birth, a guy like me will feel like if you want to do something, I have to let you I do know, it. I know, I think like, that's I feel funny. like for at least a short period of time that it's more your baby than mine. Mm. And I can't help but... So the baby's born, and like for the first few nights, you're like, no, I want to get up every time, and I want to pump, yeah. I don't want to pump, and I want to do this. Yeah. And it's like, it's, di it's I would never say no. I would never be like, no, let me hold the baby. I, I think it's a really weird baby. one, because if you thought of it in something else, like if I if looked adult, after a puppy yeah. for nine months, sort of on my own, yeah. you were there with me, but I was technically like looking yeah. after it. Up in our very deep chat, halfway, running out of memory. Anyway, I thought that was, a, yeah, mm. very good point. And I think that it's, it's, you it's almost like you early on when like the excitement of having that new baby is so real and so raw and maybe like the woman wants to do more and the man kind of stands back allowing that because obviously I'm like, oh, I'm birth and stuff. Um, and then like, I don't know, then maybe the, you hope then the man can kind of come back in full force later and not kind of feel out of the loop. Oh, I feel like... There has to be just as much bonding for both mm -hmm. parents when yeah. the baby's born. And I, you know, like every single pregnancy and every single birth and every single ev life ever is so different. So mm -hmm. I think you should go into it just with a full open mind. Yeah. Like, so whatever you're happens okay will be to push right. you out the way and go, it's my turn to cuddle the baby! Me! <laughs> <laughs> just as soon as it's born. <laughs> See ya! See ya! Okay. time. I'm off now. I just think you cannot go into these things planning anything. No, no, no. Not, I wasn't trying. I, I was go, just saying it was an interesting I go point. into it wanting you to be just as involved as yeah, me. No, I know you, you know. do. I know. Obviously. Yeah. Because I think you'll be an amazing dad. Aww. Well, that was Stop fun. It. I enjoyed that. There's some I more chips left. That. That was really lovely. Got over it, so I'm quite, yeah. quite impressed. We spoke a lot. Not sure how long this is going to be, but I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you're still here, yeah. thank you for watching. Um, we will see you guys in the next video. We haven't done a mukbang in so long. That I felt know. so weird. We it's usually so, like. How did you enjoy your first McDonald's in ages? It was good. I enjoyed it at the start, but now I'm a bit like. I feel a bit bleh now. I don't really want one again. Like, no. Like I'm not like yeah, that was so worth it or anything. Can't wait. No. Yeah. Like, I'm quite happy with the food we've been cooking yeah. at home. And yeah, not quite definitely. happy, very much yeah. more happy. <laughs> much more happier. Much more happy. <laughs> um, we hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Please give the video a like. If you did enjoy, leave us a comment below. We love reading your comments. Subscribe if you're new. Turn your notices on. See you in the next video. Can't reach you from over there, so I'm running around. Bye. Oh, don't Bye. Bye. Love you, love you, bye. <laughs>